I'm going to try to hook this sensor on with just some uh, large wire ties. See if I can do it with that. Rather than building a bracket, this will help thermally insulate it as well. some longer ones that's not going to work okay I'll figure out something and come back here's what I decided to do is I have one wire tie that holds on three other wire ties and then I'll put three other ones out to this uh, each one of these rods let me cut these off Oops. get rid of this excess That'll sit in there like that. Excess. Okay, I can continue stacking. Okay, let's back off this a little bit so you can see. Okay, now the last two that don't have the uh, the opening in the center. Whoops. This is the one that goes on top because there's no lip. put a washer and nut on each one of these to cinch it all down. Okay, you can get an idea what that looks like now. I'll still have to make some kind of a bracket on top for this L-shaped bracket to hold it up. I think it's going to be something like this. Okay, I'll uh, figure out another bracket to make on this. Maybe it'll just be a crossbar with some holes drilled into it. Okay, let's go make that. I went ahead and made a uh, metal plate. It has holes that these bolts can go through and then the bracket. I'm going to stand it off up here to keep it away from this, to keep the metal away from uh, this solar radiator as far as possible. Okay, 
so this will go up here like this. Another nut to lock it on. And the metal bracket that's going to hold it up will go on like this. And two screws to go down through those holes. With a nut on the other side of that. Okay, I think that's ready to install. And then this will end up plugging into a uh, little solar panel that's a transmitter also. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this up on the fence out back. And the other thing is this bracket. Let me see if I can back up a little bit here. Whoops. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a, this L-shaped bracket. I used the longer end on the bottom here that holds it out away from the fence that I'm going to put it on. It might even be better if it was on a post that was separated from everything because the fence is going to block airflow. But that's where I'm going to locate it. I'm out in the backyard here and I'm showing you where I'm going to put this new temperature sensor. It's very hot out here. The air conditioner is going in the background there so that's the noise it's running is the uh, air conditioner motor. There's the old sensor right there which I'm going to replace. And it's kind of in the shade but you can see maybe in the lower right hand corner of that circle there's a piece of sunlight or a spot of sunlight showing there. If that hits the sensor, it'll affect it, and that's what I'm trying to avoid with this new shield. And this one's pretty old. It's been out here a long time, and uh, the bracket's just going to mount in the same place up there. So I'll go up there and mount it here in just a moment.
Okay, now that that's mounted up there, you can see the wire hanging out the bat, bat, uh, the bottom of it. I'm gonna mount the new solar panel and get it plugged in. Okay, there's the new solar radiation shield and the uh, solar panel that powers it is over here. Right there. It'll get enough sun during the day to power that. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.